Hey guys, how are you all doing today? So today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to set up your own soundboard where you will be able to play any mp3 file that you want to in any game, discord, teamspeak or skype and basically anything that requires your microphone and you can just do whatever you want. So this is going to be totally free and only need three downloads so let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is Google voice meter or click the link in the description and go to this landing page. So go ahead and scroll down and click the installation button. Do not click download, click install. This will give you the exe file. Once that is finished, go ahead and click that to run it and you will get a box appear. On this box, there's going to be an install button here, not a remove button unless you already have it installed. Go ahead and click the install button and then once it is finished, close it. Do not reboot your computer yet even if it asks you to. Scroll back up the website and click the virtual audio cable. Click the download button here and then go ahead and drag this onto your desktop and right click and extract it onto your desktop. I'm going to delete that file. You need WinRAR to extract it onto your desktop so if you don't have WinRAR go ahead and download that. Next, scroll down and choose whichever operating system you're on. I'm on a 64-bit, so I'm going to right-click that and click Run as Administrator. It won't work unless you've run it as an administrator. Click the Installation button once again and wait for that to install. Then close it and you're going to want to reboot your computer now. So just go ahead and reboot your computer and then I will see you once it's rebooted. Great, so the next thing you're going to want to download after your computer is rebooted is our last thing. It's EXP Soundboard. Go ahead and click download. If you want to use Foobar, you can, but this tutorial will be not going into how to set up Foobar. So once EXP Soundboard is downloaded, you can drag that onto your desktop. I'm just going to delete virtual audio cable now. I don't need that. Go ahead and once that is there and on your desktop, we're ready to set them up. Great, that's all the installations finished. So now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open the voice meter. You'll have to find this in your program files or just search it if you're on Windows 10. Once this is open, it should look something like this. Let's just go ahead and quickly set this up. It doesn't take too long. Click A1 over here on the right and choose your speakers, whatever you listen to all your stuff on your computer on. Great, that's all set up. It should automatically set up virtual input. When you're over here, just disable these two A's and go over here and choose your microphone. You can also name this microphone if you'd like by right clicking it. That's how you rename them. On this one, you're going to want to click it and click cable output. I'm going to name this one sandbox. There you go. So we have these two named and set up. This is this program entirely done now. We're just going to leave this to the side. Do not close this. Go ahead and open EXP Soundboard. EXP Soundboard can take a little while to boot up. Once it's open, it should look something like this. Just have it open to the side. All you need to do on this is click Cable Input. Now, if you do not have Cable Input or Cable Output, then something was wrong with Virtual Audio Wires. So you, all you need to do is just contact me on Discord. The support Discord is in the description if you have any issues with any of this and I will guide you through the process with any issues you're having. So great, that's these two set up now. What you're going to do is just download a audio file from the internet. I already have one here ready. It has to be an mp3, so we're just going to paste that onto my desktop. And then select it inside of here by clicking add, select, and then navigate to the mp3. Once you've done with this, you can add hotkeys if you want. We're not going to add any hotkeys, hotkeys even. So now this is done. If you click play, as you can see, the sound bots can hear the audio, but I can't hear the audio. If you want to be able to hear the audio as well as the sound box, I'm just going to turn the volume down here. You can click the A and then you can hear the music or whatever audio you're playing through that. So you can choose if you want to hear it or not. And B is if other people can hear it or not so that's how you set that up hey guys uh just adding a little note here that i didn't really go into detail on in the video i was playing music through this bar here and i noticed that when i pressed the b it wasn't coming through on the video 
The reason for this is, is because I was recording the video through my microphone and not virtual meter. And the reason I was doing this is so that you guys didn't get cut off when I was setting this up. So it's just to clear up some confusion. If the reason you don't hear it when I click this B is because it's my microphone isn't coming through this. However, when you're using this, it should come through on this. So that's all. So one thing you want to do also is go into your playback devices and make sure that this bottom one voice meter input is as your default device. It should be the only one with a tick on it. So right click and click set as default device and set as communications device on this. Then go over to your recordings and do the same for voice meter output. Set as default device for both. Another issue you might have had, uh, let's just go back there. Another issue you might be having is if you can't find cable outputs, you may want to right click here and show disabled devices. This may help you find them and then you can right click them and enable them if they're not already enabled. So let's go ahead and test this. Okay, so the website I'm using to test this is webcam mic test. You can use anything, you can use Skype or whatever you want to test this. I just use this website. So go ahead and click test microphone. And as you can see, it's perfectly picking up my voice. So what we're gonna wanna do is just make sure that this is using virtual or vir voice meter even. And the way we can test this is just turn down the volume of our microphone. Oh wait, sorry, the music is playing. Let's stop that. So there, as you can see, it is definitely using the voice meter. So to set this back to normal, just double click it and it will go back. So as you can see, I can hear my microphone again. Um, if I want it to listen to music, as you already just saw, I can click play. And then you can see that it will start listening to the music. If I stop speaking, you'll see it going up still. And as you can see, it's working perfectly with the music. So you can adjust these sliders or up here, you can adjust these effects to change different effects. And basically that's it uh, for this tutorial. I think that's everything you need to do. Um, it's all the setup, it should work. Like I said, if you have any issues, please go to our Discord in the description and I will help you with any issues or anything you may be confused about. Thank you for watching. If you wanna see any of the type of tutorials, please suggest it in our Discord and that is it for now.